What's up, people? Uh, wanted to do a video because I haven't done one in a long time. I was gonna do one last night, but I was at home, too many distractions. My son was interrupting, my daughter was interrupting, dropping things. So I just wanted to do something different, like a different setting, because uh, I always do it in my car. But this works too. I uh, just wanted to kind of talk about the meal plan that I've been doing, CrossFit, um, just things that are in, you know, going in my head. Uh, so the meal plan is not going as well as I planned it. Um, or as I thought it was, I was it was gonna go. It's harder than what I thought it was gonna be. Uh, it's it's just time consuming. It's not really hard. I love cooking. I mean, I've cooked for a long time. I I enjoy cooking. It's just when you when you plan or when you think about planning for or prepping for the whole week or even uh, for the next day. Um, you have to do it like every single night and every night is something different so complicates things for me I am um, sticking to it I've kind of there's been a couple of days where I've struggled the most especially on Wednesday because Wednesday um, uh, Two Wednesdays ago was my birthday, and my and like the following Monday was my supervisor's uh, birthday. So where I work, our unit celebrated our birthdays with a potluck. So there was a lot of good food, but food I wasn't supposed to eat, but I ate it anyways. Um, so I ate like donuts, uh, chicken wings, uh, rice, other you know all good stuff. It was delicious, and I'm grateful for my coworkers that they did that for us. Um, but it just kind of like set me back a little. Uh, and another frustrating thing that happened is like uh, they, I have, we have like a scale in the, in the restroom at work, and I'm just have this urge to like weigh myself and see if I'm losing weight. And when you see that you're not losing weight, it's kind of frustrating. So I stopped doing that already. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just gonna wait until I uh, go back to the, with the nutritionist to see what the outcome was. But because um, there's days where I, I I felt like I lost weight and then I jumped on the scale and it was like actually a little heavier, not a whole lot, but you know, and e even a couple of pounds kind of like brought me down. It's like, oh man, come on, I'm doing all this like sacrificing all these things uh, and I'm not even seeing the results so I think I need to um, just stay off the scale until either you can either I think you can do like a weekly way you know weigh in uh, or or just I'll just wait until I go back to with the nutritionist but uh, it's uh, another struggle is or another thing that happened is um, my uh, well my birthday of course I I ate uh, I wasn't well I, I guess I could have because uh, there was there's one meal a week that I can eat whatever I want and then uh, but I, I can I still have to stick to like my either my breakfast or my lunch or my dinner depending on what I which one I decide to eat whatever I want on so that was on uh, my birthday a couple of weeks ago and um, I've been craving things I, I don't know if it's because like my body's like asking me for them because I haven't had those in a while I'm kind of like on detox I don't know but I've been craving a lot of things um, I've been eating like late snacks although they're not like bad things uh, like I haven't had like a cheeseburger or anything like that but like toast with peanut butter uh, you know like at 9 9 30 at night I'm not supposed to do that um, so yeah, it's it's hard. It's really really hard. Um, but I'm sticking to it. I don't want to give up on it. Uh, that's one of the things that CrossFit has done for me is uh, kept me uh, constant on a lot of things. Uh, you know, CrossFit is like the workouts are hard, and I can proudly say that I haven't given up on any of them. Even though I felt like it, I've thought about it. But just the, the thought of you know like failing or or you know.
know, seeing my the, the people I work out with, uh, seeing me like give up, it just pushes me to keep going. So that I'm taking that into my everyday life too. At uh, you know, especially now with the meal plan, I want to stick to it. I want to I want to do it, and um, so yeah, that's that's uh, what has been going on with the meal plan. Um, I still want to do like meal prepping for the whole week. I think it's it's gonna happen soon. I just need to kind of get everything uh, in order uh, because I I've made a couple of trips to the grocery store and I ran out of stuff. So I need to get into a system where I know what to buy, how much to buy of, uh, like the quantities. That way I don't run out in the middle of the week. Because if I run of one ingredient, I just don't feel like making the meal because I'm like, it's not going to be the, the, the meal that I'm supposed to be eating. So I'm just not going to make it. So uh, that's been happening. I think I'm, it's going to get to a point where I, 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 I know exactly what to get, how much to get. Um, so that'll be, that'll, be help, that, that'll be helpful and that should be happening in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then CrossFit it's this was it this yeah this week because today's friday this week i felt really really good like i felt um like i've been improving a lot on a lot of things even my coach approached me and he said one of the um workouts oh, sorry my water bottle is uh just bouncing around my car um <clears throat> the coach said hey you know you're, you're looking very strong you, you look good on, on that workout and another thing that happened that was really really funny it's uh I on Thursday I was doing a workout and I read it wrong and I always read it read it read them wrong I always like don't fully understand the workouts I, I don't know if it's because I look at them too early in the morning or, or what but I thought the 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 prescribed weight was uh, 55 pounds uh, 55 pound dumbbells for a workout and there's usually two like one for women one for men so i sometimes i do like the women's weight if it if i think like the the man's weight is too too heavy and i did so i i picked the dumbbell of the for the women's weight of what i thought it was the women's weight and at the end of the workout the coach is asked me oh what was the weight and i said oh i scaled it um uh, and I think she asked me like what was the weight and I said 40 or 45 no 40 and she was like well that was the RX that, 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 that was a prescribed weight so I'm like hmm that's crazy because I thought I was scaling it but I was actually doing the prescribed weight so I was amazed of you know that I could I, I did it RX or prescribed RX just means it's prescribed weight um, and I was just amazed on how, you know, how well I did for, you know, what I, I thought I was scaling it and I was actually doing it RX. So that was, I was exciting. I was excited about that. Um, I really, 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 uh, uh, I was really, really happy about that. So I think like I've been improving a lot lately, like the last couple of weeks. And I don't know if this has to do with the with the meal plan. It, it might it might have to do with the meal plan because I've definitely consumed a lot less sugar, a lot less like um, uh, flowers or breads and stuff like that. So that might be it. You know, hopefully that's it. You know, and, and I can see even though I'm not, I don't feel like I'm losing weight. At least I'm seeing the results in that area, which are gonna keep me motivated and keep me you know um just keep me going and another just kind of like a tip i guess and it's something that helped me a lot is get a, a water bottle one of those uh insulated uh water bottles that you can get you can you, your stuff stays either hot or cold uh for a long time it, it just helped us like me and my wife it's helped us like drink a lot more water because we take this everywhere we go and uh it's super convenient and and it stops me from craving soda or any other sugary drink that you're not supposed to eat drink um because it's it, you have it there it's ready to go uh you don't you don't need anything else as far as a drink so you're always drinking water i think it helps you with your hunger too like you don't get hungry as often when you're drinking a lot of water 
so that's i mean it's i highly recommend one of these i got these at burlington for like 12 dollars. i know there's like some on, uh, on amazon they're really really good um, for like 20 25 dollars i don't know and then there are some uh um uh, a costco costco has a good deal on on there's a two pack i think for like 24 dollars something like that i just saw it uh last week uh so i think i'm gonna get one for my son so get him to drink more water uh but yeah so that was what i want to talk to talk about hopefully you like this video i know it's long sorry about that i just want to be an encouragement for anyone uh again subscribe to my channel and if you want to you know um just keep watching these videos and if you have any questions or if you want to encourage me or you want if you want you know like i don't know help me in anything give me advice if you're like again like, like i mentioned in one of my other videos if you've been where i where i am or if you know you're whatever wherever you wherever you are in the process of losing weight or getting stronger just let me know be happy to encourage you be an encouragement to you and uh just see you guys on the next video and the next video i think i'm going to talk about something different not going to be related to crossfit or meal prepping or meal planning or anything is i'm going to talk about something that i've been doing for almost a year it'll be a year in july so yeah that'll be on the next video Again, just want to be a help for, for people, uh, and that's pretty much the only reason why I'm doing this. Uh, so, see you guys in the next video. Thank you.